Flesh eating bacteria might be rare, but two different cases now. One of them deadly in the past month is really a concern at this point for anyone hitting Florida's beaches. And tonight, Michael Paluska talking to doctors in the Bay Area about what you can do right now, and it could mean the difference between life and death. Summertime and the beach go hand in hand. Tourists and locals drawn to the crashing waves, but the heat brings something else to the surface. Flesh-eating bacteria known as necrotizing fasciitis, a rare bacterial infection that kills one in three people. I never even heard of necrotizing fasciitis. Tragically, Wade Fleming's mom, Lynn Fleming, cut her left leg on Anna Maria Island at Coquina Beach. The 77-year-old contracted the bacteria on June the 14th. Despite three surgeries, she died 13 days later. We're just trying to get the word out to let people know that this is not something that you can put off for two days or something. It multiplies and divides very rapidly. Dr. Alfred Aleguas, the director of the Florida Poison Control Center at Tampa General, says water temps in the 90s are the perfect breeding ground for the bacteria. If you get a cut in the gulf, the bay, brackish, or even fresh water, scrubbing it with soap and water can kill the bacteria. But if the bacteria is already in your system, your minor cut will show major symptoms. Really red and inflamed, can happen over a very short amount of time, and you just color any pus, anything like that, you have to seek medical attention immediately. Last month, a 12-year-old Indiana girl got necrotizing fasciitis in Destin. Kylie Brown is alive today because her mom says they acted fast. According to the Florida Department of Health, there were 42 cases last year. Nine people died. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.